Welcome to Cinema, the movie and television podcast show that talks about everything dirty, uh, mean, to my and nasty. It rubs the lotion on its skin in Hollywood and beyond. If it's sin, we're in. I am Brandon Luna with Clipso Cigar Review and Cinema. I am Randy Rankin with Clipso Cigar Review and Cinema, and we are with the great. Edwin Neal from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yes. How are you doing today, sir? We're having more fun than drunk monkeys in church. <laughs> awesome. Man, that's fun. That's having that's a fun. fun. <laughs> no, this is a great show. Great mix of people. Malcolm McDowell's here. Nev Campbell's here. C. Thomas Howlett. I've right got there, all man. these beautiful people. It's a, it's a really nice mix. The kids are digging it. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. great. That's so awesome. Okay, I'm going to nerd out because... I've told on the show many times that I saw Texas Chainsaw. I call it good parenting. Most people would disagree at the age of four. My mom and I went to see it at the drive-in at the age of four. And your scene is my, I mean, the whole, and I have to ask you a question about that scene, you know, you know the cut in the hand and everything. When you slap the van, is that a sign? Is that a signal to mark the van, just, do you think? I was or just trying what? to do something stupid until okay. they had enough time to find the gear they were supposed to be. Okay. Low budget right. movie making at its best. Like, okay. Well, I'll just, I'll, I know, I'll just make a... And then they just worked it in. <laughs> okay, yeah, because it looked like a sign, like, yeah, yeah get like, these people. Man, get and these then they... Were, and what's his name? Uh, uh, Alan Danziger has a great line that he had because it's, he, he, it's the sign. He's coming to get you. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah it that worked scene well. stands out so well. It's in my memory. Uh, okay, so they kind of redid your part in the last one, the one uh, with uh, Alexander yeah. Daddario. Yeah. And uh, I was happy that they threw that kind of scene in, but then when I watched it, I was depressed because I was I wanted to see your scene's the scene. It's the definitive scene in that movie to me. Well, is it? It, it reminds me of the old, bless his heart, the old Robin Williams routine mm -hmm. that he goes. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait until I'm 89 and I'm walking down Hollywood Boulevard and there on the movie marquee is what's showing. Texas Chainsaw 82, <laughs> Aliens 46, right. Halloween 19. <laughs> exactly. I can't um, wait. <laughs> See, you've had a lot of variety in your career. You've done a lot of things and you do a lot of voice acting. How did you come into voice acting? Years ago, when I found out that they would pay me to talk stupid, and I didn't have to be in politics. Right. <laughs> I said, where do I sign? <laughs> this is my real voice, but the will let me use it. <laughs> what happens is we're making like a really scary movie, and I go, <laughs> I'm going to kill you. And, and the director invariably goes, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so instead, I use this voice. Oh, Very cool. The greatest now, interview yeah, ever. The, so best, the best part of that is... <laughs> You can only do that a couple hours a day, right? right. Exactly. Yeah, so exactly. we get to the studio at 10, knock off at noon for lunch, and we're done. Yeah. Until the next day. Right. Exactly. And it pays pretty darn well. I do voice oh. acting as well. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. pay me to talk stupid. Exactly. <laughs> and for I a couple told, hours. I'm totally qualified, and I got more stupid at the house. <laughs> <laughs> you need more, I'll go get more. <laughs> Jimmy, load that truck with stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> so how did you land the part in JFK? Was that just through knowing people or what was the deal? Well, you'll find this highly amusing. I know I do. Mm -hmm. But uh, basically, I got cast because Oliver Stone wanted to talk about Texas Chainsaw. Really? Anybody could have played the cockamamie part. Uh -huh. But he was talking to the Australian casting director. We'll find him something. Good grief. But he wanted to talk about how they, we did certain things in the movie. And mm -hmm. He found out I was a Vietnam vet and he... Soft spot. So, well, what the heck's back? Find him something. Right. But did, that's how you do. Yeah. That's showbiz. That's showbiz. You don't have that's to it. have any talent. Just... Did you get to meet Kevin Costner? No, he was shooting in, uh, uh, in New Orleans okay. when I was shooting in Dallas. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. But All right. Then he, I, I got a great Kevin Costner story. Oh, I, I'm always up for Kevin Costner. Yeah. I did meet Kevin at a later date. Okay. I'm in Vegas at the Bellagio, and I'm over on... The roulette wheel. Mm -hmm. And I am killing it. Right. I'm killing it. Right. I've got stacks of chips this nice. high. Nice. It was just one of those nights. Right. And I'm just about to the point where, you know, run away, take the chips, and run away. Right. And I'm just about to that point. And, but you're, you know, you're listening to that stupid inner voice. One more bit. One more bit. Yeah. So I look over to the left of me. They have this little gold chain roped off blackjack table. Mm -hmm. And I go, what's that? And I go, oh. 
Kevin Costner's coming in. I go, really? Cool. So I say, I'll stay a little longer, and I'm still winning. <laughs> Put the three black chips. Oh, dude, you, I'm going to need a tray for them chips. <laughs> so Kevin comes in, oh, and they have armed guards and the roped-off gold thing where he can get behind it. Nobody can come up to him. Right. Just like in the uh, Demi Moore movie, they bring him a box, nice. a box of chips. Wow. And he starts, he has a little younger woman with him. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping it's his daughter. <laughs> and uh, they're scooping chips out with their hand, dumping them on the table. They're nice. not even counting them. <laughs> and with about the same rhythm that the rest of us do. Right. Win one, lose two. Right. Lose two, lose two, win one. You know, like that. So he's down around 40,000. And I've got, <laughs> I've got so many chips. There's no more room for any people to sit on that end of the table. <laughs> I, I have so many chips. And fool that I am, I look over <laughs> and I say, Hey, Kevin, come on over here. Here's where the action is. <laughs> Old time Italian croupier mm-hmm. takes a half a step forward and takes his hand out and goes. <laughs> Don't, you can't didn't talk say to a word. <laughs> do, I translated that in my head to do not annoy the man who's losing big or will whack you. <laughs> That's great. So, no. So at that point, I put my head down like this, and I don't even look up for 20 minutes, and I'm just putting chips anywhere, and I'm still winning. Nice, nice, nice. And Kevin's yeah. like, Kevin keeps losing. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Kevin Costner story. Excellent. That's a great Excellent. story. <laughs> so when did you start smoking cigars? I was, <laughs> do you smoke after sex? I don't know. I never looked. <laughs> uh, no, uh, because uh, in, during uh, my Vegas days when we would play cards, mm-hmm. it was just like, you know, I mean, you know, uh, we're sitting there at the table with, uh, you know, uh, T. Boone Pickens. Yeah. And you guys smoke cigars. We're, we're oh, sitting there with T. Boone Pickens and one of the wealthiest men in the world. Yeah. And got his hat and pushed back and scar. Hey. And a guy comes in from New Jersey. Mm-hmm. New money. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's nobody sillier than new right, money, no, right? Nothing. And nothing. T. Boone, but we're all, you know, the group is there. They've been playing for hours. He wants in on this big time money game. Right. And nobody let him in. They're not leaving. And he finally stomps over and goes, hey, you know who I am? I'm worth $7 million. <laughs> T. Boone Pickens pushes his hat back, takes a silver dollar out and says, damn, I flipped you for it. <laughs> That's awesome. We're like, <laughs> he goes, ah. <laughs> damn, son. <laughs> Oh, Here, Ed, man. have a cigar. Right. <laughs> so what are some of your favorite cigars? you got great stories. Oh, no, yeah, great. We can do a whole show based on this. I don't show. like anything that smells good. Yeah, I hear you. Okay. You know what we do, though? What's that? One of the reasons why I like cigars so much is because we take the, the better, there's a certain kind of cigar boxes to get. I forget what the name is. My wife knows. And they, they save the boxes for us. Mm-hmm. And you take three strings and you can make a, 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 a three-string guitar. guitar out of the box. And it's one of the best sounding i've heard of no i'm dead yeah. serious uh, no. oh you know you know who plays one who has one is uh um uh, uh pit not pit not brad pit um the the blackjack the uh, guy that plays i know jack white does no no the guy that jack plays Black? the pirate guy uh, oh johnny Depp. johnny Depp. hell okay. thank you brain right. <laughs> i'm not it's sunday at four i'm not tired yeah, you're not tired. Yeah. but johnny Depp plays one All right okay well, wow, but the sound cool. is great that's yeah. awesome and you know you're spending like 25 dollars and it sounds I, i've played guitars that cost 1800 bucks mm-hmm. that don't sound that good right. and you can do an open tuning and mm-hmm. it sounds you know yeah like a full guitar right I, I know a guy who made them, and he he had he, he, he had two pickups and everything on it. It was really good. Pickups yeah. on them? Yeah. But the sound the, bo- the the sound from the box sound is fantastic. Yeah, it's crazy. And you get to smoke the cigar. <laughs> it's I need a bonus. another box. Give me a cigar. That's a win-win. It's a yeah. definitely a win-win. win-win. <laughs> well, man, what a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you so Thanks, much, guys. And Thanks so much for taking time to talk to us. Hopefully, we'll see you again next year. You like head cheese? They make <laughs> it really good. <laughs> awesome.